Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for being here. Well, you can see I have a new table right here. It's not a table, it's actually a box. And it's not just a box, it is THE box from Pizza Hut. Yeah, Pizza Hut has uh, brought back this deal, though, and it, it, it is big. I mean, not only in terms of the amount of people, I think, talking about it, because there is some hype about this item. Um, also, in terms of the sheer size of the box and the quantity of food therein, Pizza Hut has brought back their seasonal triple treat box, and uh, I've gotten a lot of requests to uh, kind of try this out again. I gave it a review last year, but, uh, of course, with every year, there can be some changes. Things, indeed, as we know, can get better, they can get worse. And uh, we always want to see, is Pizza Hut maintaining the standards? How are things at this point in time? So, uh, definitely worth checking out. So, uh, yeah, the Triple Treat Box. For those of you who aren't aware, um, Pizza Hut does have a special meal deal that they, uh, you know, that they have around the holiday season. And since we are in December, I decided to uh, give it a shot once again. So here's what is inside this box, and you're going to get a full view of it. Um, what I'm going to do is we'll open it up. We're going to give a little bit of a quality assessment real quick, you know, just to make sure everything tastes like it's supposed to. Uh, we're going to assess the price, and then we're just going to determine, is it still a good deal? Uh, is it still worth your while? How have things changed? So we're just going to go from there, just an overall assessment. It's a lot of food. We want to make sure that it's, it's decent, right? So inside this box, you have two medium, one-topping pizzas. You have an order of breadsticks. And you have an order of cinnamon rolls. So again, you've got the pizzas. You've got the breadsticks. I was hoping to synchronize that up with those, those banging noises. And uh, one order of cinnamon rolls as well. Here's an interesting observation in terms of the price. Last year, the price was 20 bucks. Now, you might say, you're 20 bucks. I mean, that's a steal. Two pizzas, breadsticks, uh, the cinnamon rolls, and yeah, that is a good price. As a matter of fact, when I tried it out last year, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I thought the quality was decent. Uh, and one of the, the main points that I raised was the price. Well, things are different this year. Uh, the price now has actually gone up a bit, not really a surprise, but um, it is now $24. As a matter of fact, I actually ended up paying $25.50 for this box. I'll explain why, um, but it is a higher price. At a minimum now, I expect to pay about $24 bucks for this, and um, it's definitely not the $20 meal deal that we got last year. So you have to bear that in mind. Will that increase of just a few bucks play a, a major role? We will see. Um, but the triple treat box from Pizza Hut. Still, regardless of the price difference, some people are still quite interested in it and quite excited. Uh, some people, some proponents thereof, are actually saying that this is a, um, almost a deseratum of sorts for a productive, for a joyous holiday season. They say, you know, it's not December, you can't even do anything without this. And that word, it's just a real fun word to say, just a requirement. They gotta say, you know, it's not the holidays without the triple treat box. But yeah, some people, they really like it still. You can see this is what it looks like, and um, like I've been saying, it's a big box. It really is. You can see, compared to how I am, um, honestly, if this sprouted a head and some arms, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. You can see front and center is a uh, holiday-themed pizza hut. And what is this text? What does the sacred text here at the bottom say? Naughty or nice, we all get a slice. Well, I guess so. So no call for anyone in the Pizza Hut world. Everyone gets a slice. You could do anything you want, and Pizza Hut's got you covered. They say, we got you. We'll get you those slices. Well, it's just a slice. You, we all get a slice. So I guess that means you could, you know, you could be really good and you'll get a slice, or, you know, I guess you can be on the naughty side of things and get a slice. What is this? They say they're hiring. 
All right, what's in what's in the box here? Now you can see we've got three boxes. Let me just show you real quick what it just looks like after we've opened it up. See on the inside we've got three boxes inside of a bigger box. So that's what we've got. All right, what's in this one? I'm almost running out of space here, but we'll figure it out. All right, I haven't opened anything. So what's in this one? Let's just see. Okay. We've got the sides here in. I guess we'll try these first. Well, we'll try the breadsticks first, I guess, because this is like the uh, the appetizer, right? You've got the cinnamon rolls. You can see them basking. How many do we have? Four, eight, ten. All right, we got ten cinnamon rolls right there. And uh, an order of breadsticks with some marinara dipping sauce. I'll just try out a breadstick. And then we'll move on. Red stick is enjoyable. Standard Pizza Hut quality. Mm -hmm. Light, airy, bake on the top though. A little bit of a bake on the bottom as well. You got the garlic um, Parmesan on the top. Their marinara sauce does complement those breadsticks perfectly. It really does a, a good job there. I always like the little sweetness that the marinara sauce offers. So, maintaining the standards, I would say, in terms of breadsticks. So we've got that down. Like I said, just giving a real quick assessment of each thing. In the second box, Let's see what we've got. I decided to change things up. Now this is where I actually mentioned the price difference. Um, why I paid $25.50 instead of $24 for this. So when you order the pizza, um, they still give you the option where you can add multiple toppings. So I thought to myself, because they say, you know, just one topping pizza, I thought, well, but they give people the option to throw in some more toppings. What happens if I order a two-topping pizza? So that's what I did. If you order a two-topping pizza, because again, they make, you know, you could easily do that when you're picking out the pizzas, um, you will automatically be charged an extra $1.50. So that's why I paid $25.50 for this instead of uh, $24. I went with a thin and crispy pizza this time around. I decided to try out some veggies. I got some green peppers and, um, some tomato as well. Thought, oh, why not? Let's uh, switch it up a little bit. Let's try this out. We'll just take a bite again. I think if anything, if I recall correct, and maybe not, maybe my memory is tarnished, maybe this is just the power of the pizza, um, but if I remember correctly, I think the last time I tried this out, I got a thin and crispy pizza, and I was actually a little disappointed with it. So, um, actually, pizza quality with that one, compared to last year, has improved. I think the last thin and crispy pizza I got from Pizza Hut was, um, it was, like, so thin, it was like a little cracker, and it was, um, very, very dry. I remember that, specifically. Um, that was lacking a bit. And this, on the other hand, I think you could see had a lot more substance to it. Um, the toppings, I felt, were fresh, and I believe you could probably discern 
that there is a good amount uh, of toppings on the pizza as well. So quality-wise, I mean, yeah, you have to pay a couple, uh, you know, a buck and a half extra for that. But I think you're getting what you pay for. I mean, like I said, I think they did a good job on that pizza. Uh, it tasted good. It was enjoyable. I really liked the, um, the tomatoes are actually much more flavorful than I thought they would be. Um, fresh toppings, just an enjoyable veggie pizza. And um, there was some firmness in the base, but it wasn't to the point where it was over you know, overwhelming. It wasn't like it was just like a cracker like it was last year. So, I'm happy with that. Finally, last, but not least, I guess because we still have the blessed, um, the, uh, cinnamon rolls to try out. I went basic. We've always got to go with the basic pepperoni pizza, right? Why not? You got to see how they're maintaining the standards. And this is where my claws come in handy because that allows for easy sort of um, peeling of the, the tape. Standard pepperoni pizza right there. Um, went with hand tossed. Hand tossed. The other one was thin and crispy. This is just one topping, so no extra was paid for this. So standard pepperoni, let's just try it out. Again, we'll just take a bite, see how it tastes. This is like your standard greasy pepperoni pizza. Um, but again, I think what you would come to expect. Uh, again, you know, it's not as, as soft or chewy as the deep, not the deep dish, the pan pizza that they have um, is. But still, a little bit of firmness to it, but it's still soft. And um, you're able to really just get into it. You're able to, I, I, I feel like I'm able to enjoy it. I like the balance, of course, that the sauce provides it kind of this was a little bit on the oily side i think you could kind of tell you can actually see the little pools of oil on the um on the pizza slice did that really detract from anything though flavor wise no it didn't i think it's a pretty standard pepperoni pizza just a bit on the salty and uh, greasy side i think as you would expect it to be so so far despite the price increase Quality seems good, um, if not better, than how it was last year. So that's what we've got. Now we have, on a final note to sample, we have the, uh, the cinnamon rolls. So we, we can't forget those, right? Because you know you're really, you're really getting serious when you start breaking these out. I don't know, I just made that up on the spot, but it sounds good anyway. We'll, we'll pretend that that's some sort of rule in terms of Pizza Hut now. There they are. It's like a little chorus of them, you know? You could almost imagine these just belting out Christmas carols at any given second, right? That one needs to work on its voice a little bit, but the rest are solid. Dessert, though. We'll just take a little taste. Mm hmm. Very soft, very, um, very sugary. The thing is, though, I think you kind of need that, you know, the sugary, I don't know if it's a sauce, it's more of a glaze, I suppose. It balances everything out because there's a lot of cinnamon on them, and that can get overwhelming at some points. Um, but the sugary drizzle thereon balances it out nicely. I think this makes for a, uh, a suitable dessert, though. 
tastes fine in my opinion. Um, like I said, quality-wise of everything, um, everything that I've tried seems to be on par. So then that brings us to the final question, most importantly. Now that I've assessed the quality of everything, and I think we could come to the determination that in the triple treat box, everything tastes all right, and the quality might even be slightly superior to what was received last year, what say I about the price increase? Um, considering now that this is an increase in price by about four bucks at a minimum, and probably depending on where you are, it might even be higher. I mean, it might be five to seven dollar increase. I wouldn't be surprised in, uh, in some areas. So factoring that in, though, that is a bit of a disappointment. Now, I get that things just are how they are at this point, and uh, price increases, you're seeing that across the board. I mean, I went over to McDonald's the other day and got some breakfast, and you, you have to pay like seven, eight bucks for a, uh, a single McMuffin at this point, which is pretty crazy. Um, so it's not just, you know, to sit there and say, oh, you, this is Pizza Hut. You're seeing this everywhere, granted. Um, still slightly disappointing to see these holiday deals that, um, you know, were, were really good. And one of the big selling points was the price. All this food, a family feast for about just 20 bucks to see the price go up a bit. Um, so that disappoints me a bit. Like I said, it just is what it is at this point in time. Quality-wise, everything is there. Price-wise, a bit discouraging. Um, so all things considered, last time I gave this an 8.5. I'm going to bring this down, though, a point. I'm going to bring it to a 7.5 out of 10. Because the quality is still fine, I just, I, I hope that there's a day where uh, you're able to see these sorts of holiday deals slightly more affordable. Uh, you know, hopefully it just won't get to the point where next year, um, if they bring this back, you know, I'm going to be sitting here saying that, uh, you know, it's for the price of 30 bucks now, and uh, that's just how it's going to be. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully it'll be, you know, slightly better uh, next year. But again, quality-wise, if you're willing to fork over the uh, 25 bucks or so for this, um, you could expect some good pizza and some solid sides as well. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.